All right, so the first thing we're gonna look at here for core components is creating an application. This is the first thing you do in code deploy. Uh, an application really is just a container for the rest of the uh, components that make up code deploy. Uh, but for an application, it's as simple as going in and naming your application, and then you have to go ahead and configure a bunch of other components. The first component uh, that you need to configure is deployment groups, and this is a set of EC2 instances or Lambda functions where your new revision is going to be deployed to. And then once you have your deployment group where you know you're going to do your deploys, you can then go ahead and create a deployment. Uh, and so you create a deployment and you choose the code that you want to upload. And then you can go ahead and configure that deployment with a lot of rules. So whether you wanted to uh, roll back or whether you want it to uh, like how you want it to fail um, and a bunch of other rules in there, which we'll look at in more detail at the in the code deploy follow along. Then you're going to have your app spec YAML file. This is extremely important to know, and we definitely cover it in here in great detail. Uh, and this contains all the deployment actions that Code Deploy is going to use to figure out how to execute or like how to install, restart your application on the actual server. Uh, it's just a YAML file. And then last, uh, last here, we have the actual revision itself. So these, this is just an embodiment of all the changes that will take effect on the actual server. So that is your app spec YAML file, application files you'd have to install, configuration files you have to install, or any kind of executable. So there you go. That is the core components to Code Deploy.